So, now here we are going to discuss mechanical energy. You know in mechanical energy, we are going to discuss its two kinds, one is kinetic energy and another one is potential energy. In potential there are two parts, one is gravitational potential gravitational potential energy and another one is your potential energy of a spring. So, now see what is kinetic energy? The energy possessed by a body by virtue of its motion is known as kinetic energy. For example, a bullet is fired bullet has velocity, it has its mass, so it has its kinetic energy. And when it suppose it strikes to the any target, some work is done by or this kinetic energy it gets converted into another form of energy like a running bus, running car, moving ball, these things have energy due to their motion, these are known as kinetic energy. Potential energy, so energy possessed by the body due to position is known as potential energy. But in case of gravitational potential energy, suppose the body is raised from ground to the certain height, some work is done and this work done is stored actually in the form of energy that is known as gravitational potential energy. So, if you are moving the body against the gravity, lifting to the certain height, it has or it gains potential energy. Similarly, potential energy of a spring, if you take a spring and stretch it, as the spring is stretched some work is done, that work is stored in the form of elastic energy, elastic potential energy and that is the potential energy of a spring. So, now here we will calculate or we will be doing in detail the derivation for the kinetic energy, derivation for the potential energy as well as the gravitational potential energy and the potential energy of a spring. Let us take kinetic energy. Kinetic energy, I have already told you the definition, the energy possessed by the body by virtue of its motion is known as kinetic energy. Suppose any object or any body is lying here, mass m. When the force applied here and the body displaces or goes from here and this displacement is d s suppose here. Then you can write work done by the this force d w is equal to f dot d s and we can write d w is equal to f d s cos theta. So, theta is equal to 0. So, d w is equal to f d s. Now, here initially body was at rest, so the initial velocity was 0. Now, we can write here d w is equal to m into a into d s and d w is equal to m into d v upon d t into d s. This I have written by acceleration d v upon d t. So, we can write d s upon d t is velocity, so d w is equal to m into v into d v. Now, we can calculate the total work done. So, for the total work done we can write in this case. So, total work done is here d w is equal to m v d v. Suppose, you are increasing velocity 0 to v. Initially it was at rest, you are applying the force and the body its velocity is increased from 0 to v. So, you can write w is equal to m is outside integration is v square by 2 0 to v, you will be getting m 1 upon 2 m v square and this work done is equal to actually kinetic energy. So, the when the body is here displaced by applying the force f its velocity changes 0 to v, by that time it has gained the kinetic energy half m v square. So, kinetic energy is equal to actually depends on the mass and velocity. So, as you increase the velocity kinetic energy increases.